Good day, brothers and sisters. This is Steve Sandoval, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today we reflect on Jesus' calling of St. Matthew of the New Testament. And this is from Matthew 9, verse 9 to 13. Now let me read you a portion of this passage. Jesus was walking along and he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth and he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner with Matthew in the house, many tax collectors and sinners were there sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? As I reflect on this passage, uh, on choosing Matthew who is a tax collector, and I know Jesus perceived uh, that uh, he was seen as a sinner and a traitor to the Jewish nation. But what amazes me is that Jesus seems to be so forgiving and inclusive. He chooses even those from uh, the rejects of society, the marginalized. Our Lord must have seen beyond who Matthew really was at that time. He must have seen what God the Father created Matthew for. And he could have had an inkling of uh, what he would become, an apostle, an evangelist, one who will write the gospel and bring many to follow him. Matthew eventually uh, preached outside of Jerusalem and Israel and in other countries and it is believed that he was martyred for the Lord. Reflecting on Matthew's calling, I realized that uh, Jesus calls everyone regardless of their circumstances and past sins. He even calls those whom we perceive as unworthy. All the people around us, I'm sure, have a mission and a purpose that God our Father created us for. When Matthew was called by the Lord, he probably was surprised and he most likely felt unworthy. The Messiah, the Chosen, called him Levi, a tax collector. That's another name for him in Matthew. When I look at myself, and become much aware of how sinful I am and how my weaknesses, I realize that like Matthew, I am imperfect and weak. And like Matthew, Jesus does not look at my sinfulness, but sees the purpose for which our Father created me. Let us reflect on our own personal calling. Take a moment and reflect on that time when you felt God calling you to give your life to Him. Ask, why did Jesus call me to be His follower? And reflect on what is stopping you from acting as His follower doing our Lord's call to proclaim the good news when opportunity comes to witness why do we remain silent perhaps it's because like Matthew we hear what the Pharisees are saying inside of us like why does the teacher choose you a sinner to be a witness of the good news well, brothers and sisters, I urge you, 
cooperate with the grace of the Holy Spirit and you will be transformed. I speak before you not because I am not a sinner but because God has called me to speak the good news to each and every one of you that our Lord loves you, has saved you, has died for you and like Matthew despite my sins and my weakness through the power of the Holy Spirit my purpose and my call is to preach the good news and bring more to the kingdom of God our Lord can see truly what we look like after we have been purified of our sins and in perfection we are like unpolished gems that when we are cleaned and purified we will reflect the image of God we all have a purpose and a mission like Matthew our God calls each and every one of us because he wants to bring more people to his kingdom God bless you <music>